that cheek, got my nut nose. Or me, I'm just saying. You pull up to the scene, they be filled with jealousy. If a bitch get stop. <laughs> Finicky, she gon' bring the energy. Hit a phone with a C. Three, two, one, action. Do you have a light? Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> This is already I'm back for another video and I hope you guys are having a good one. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys doing? What's going on? Let me know in the comments below, honey. Have you guys seen the title of this video? This will be the fourth time that Uncle Roger has to review Nick. Honey. Well, the title says it all, so let's see what's going on here. Lord have mercy. Whew. Now that's what I call determination. Like determination, honey. Let's see this. Okay. I'm really shocked. I have to be honest with you guys. Ready? This baby face master chef finalist, Nick D. Giovanni. Um, he found Uncle Roger phone number. Hi. No, how? Who calling me? Uncle Roger. I haven't been sleeping very well. Oh, I need this other time. Hi, uh, nephew Nick. How you get my oh. number? He make ramen. He make egg oh. fried rice. He make Thai green curry. But still can't impress me. Now, Hold every on now. day he calling Uncle Roger. Asking me to review his fur. Please tell me it's a joke, right? Well. I guess connection. If you haven't heard of pho, it's the most famous Vietnamese noodle soup in the world. It's time to go grab some ingredients. If we're gonna make a recipe that takes eight hours, we better go <sighs> get good ingredients. We're gonna head to an amazing Asian supermarket to grab it. <sighs> He's taking us shopping again. Right, He's cooking he feel... not supermarket sweet. Thank you. He feels that when he shopping. goes to the Asian supermarket that he has gone to Asia, there's a difference. I'll show you me going to shop buying orange polo. And right, in Lauren, in Ralph Lauren. Something weird with vegetables. Hey, let's go. He feels like if he goes to an Asian supermarket, then he has gone to Asia to get. I don't. Stop sexually harassing vegetables. Don't treat grocery store like Tinder. <sighs> if you guys find this. But he buying MSP. Uh, uh, <laughs> good, right? Uh, <laughs> So let's begin. I'll start by charring off the skins of several good. onions just to get charring the onion good. Now we'll do the exact same thing with our ginger. This correct from all of this charring ginger, correct? Incredible. Our ginger is properly charred. No, no, no. I don't think you char enough. Roast onion and ginger for 10 minutes on the fire. You want it cracked? <sighs> let's go, Obama. Now let's be snack. Now in a medium pan, we'll add about 8 to 10 pods of star <laughs> anise, which is correct. exactly like licorice. A couple cinnamon sticks, cinnamon a good. cardamom pods, a little pot good. of coriander seeds, coriander correct. seeds, which also have Sano correct. flavor. And last but not least, a few whole cloves. Cloves? Okay, okay. Wait, this All is the, the fourth time. time. That's what she... Bad nephew, Nick. He's like, not I'm not gonna bad. give up. I'll That's try toast these oh. for about three to five. Toast them good. And keep in mind, you can adjust the levels of the seasoning. Oh, don't well, toast some people love to be validated. Don't Maybe he's one of those. You know, there are people like that. Out. Your kitchen floor now more flavorful than our Jamie Oliver restaurant. Hey, that's not very nice. Emotional damage. <laughs> so feel free to get creative. At this point, we'll take our cute little huh. sachet and add an old good toasted seasoning. Nick, the tea bag. The fourth time, people. To begin. Nick, the tea bag. The tea bag. Yes. Uh, we've had a little incident. Can you send an ambulance to 4352 Seneca? Yeah. Hi, uh, what is this sexual tension between the two of them? Are you making fun or comedia? I'll begin by squeezing a few lemons into a lemon already. Toss in the lemon house too. Next, we'll fill our pot with cold water. It's time to add in our meat. For the bones and meat, we want marrow rich beef bones such as muscles or leg bones. We'll add Please don't give me bloody water. water. Some quick just short rib. A giant piece of plank steak and a little piece of brisket. Mm. To finish this off, we'll add a nice handful of salt. We'll give it a nice. Why when Nick putting spice in? Always oh, this weird hand motion. Mm. Hi, yeah, professional chef. So busy in kitchen. No time for elegant fingering. <laughs> that Just stuff looks like it. I hope he's not giving us bloody water again. Oh. Nice and let it soak for one hour. We'll discard our lemon S halves and bring the pot to high heat, boiling the bones and meat for five minutes. Why is the it's water every time he does? It's not. You don't need to put bloody lemon water he gives. Yet. Lemon come later because now the meat gonna be a little bit sour from lemon. Now we'll rinse our beef off in this cold water, and as you can see, we've gotten tons of that gunkiness and dirt. Good, good, good. Trust me, I've learned good meat and good cleaning also. So now we'll rinse out our pot. 
Oh. Now onto a sheet okay. tray, add some paper towels, then place down our beef and bones to dry. Now we'll cook, cook, cook. Into our pot with fresh water, we'll add back that parboil. Oh, and okay. It's on the highest heat. The he broth finally... will be nice and clean yeah. this time. Uh, 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 good, good, good job. Like well, it's my face because... This is where we're going to see lots of impurities come to the top. <laughs> Looking nice for you. Remove the gunk from the top until the top of our pot looks nice and clear. Now we reduce the low and partially cover for three hours. While we wait, we'll prepare. Ah, <coughs> oh, your cameraman sneezing because he's allergic to your bullshit. Oh my While we wait, we'll prepare our vegetables. To start, mm. a bacon. I my vegetables in bacon, not traditional, but okay. Pieces. So for this, I'll just do a He's nice definitely going to do it in that, yeah. We'll away all of our charred bits. This is the fourth time. We'll make for a nice correct, correct. Keep it clean. And last but not least with our ginger, I'll simply take a spoon and peel off that charred outside. I don't understand that. For three hours, I'll add in my charred but peeled onion. Validation, like... Not me, I don't See, that's the same reaction fuck. when Uncle Roger catch my ex-wife cheating on me. I just don't want to get splashed on. And I don't want to overpower with ginger, so I'll break this in half and add in some ginger. Maybe just a little bit more. And then a few nice... No, this is the fourth time. time. That's what just... I'm shocked that's the fourth time. And then we'll add just a bit of this beautiful rock show. I'll say that. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. Look directly into my... I'm impressed, but shocked too. For what? The whole lot gonna piss off in broth anyway. Hiya, this is not pasta. You know, not gives me cheese. the younger version you of my language. Like... Oh, Again, we can adjust all our seasonings to our liking later. Now we'll simmer this for another two hours. He's really persistent. After quite a long period of time, this we can remove food those. Time. We can remove those veggies, and it's time to teabag. You can add some fish sauce if you'd like as well, and we'll cook this yet. Wait, wait, what? What he say? What he, he say? say? He's gonna add, add some, some fish sauce, sauce if you'd like as well. No, 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 fish sauce not optional. <laughs> Nephew, Nick, I hope you use fish sauce not optional. So <laughs> oh, fish sauce, no! like Gordon Ramsay without swearing. Something missing. I love red sauce optional. MSG in there also. It's like I'm we creating my own MSG version. Why you don't? Yeah, in Massachusetts. Why? Again for three more hours. How many hours to cook one food? Oh hell. Now he like dollar store Elon Musk. While we wait for our broth, it's time to soak our noodles. Quite simply, we add our broth. No! Correct. You are stuck. Let them sit for about 30 to 45 minutes. After All right. hours, when it's literally getting dark outside. That not even dark. Yeah, the does sun I... still up. This our he lives in, in the suburbs. And I knew it. All about the broth. So I'm gonna have he my lives in the suburbs. Who's never tried food? You know, I have my salmon and I just saw that for yeah, almost I five years. He. <laughs> No. That place looks like That's Needham. Really good. Don't tell me you Why live in Needham, like Nick. It like the hair on set of his head. Because that was where I would pass when I go to my salon. We're we'll glad I showed them that well place after five, our almost five years. Our meat is soft and tender to the point mm. that the bone should slide right out. The bone should slide right out. Ah, good, good. Sliding my bone right out. That also Uncle Roger' favorite bedroom activity. So I used to chew the bone when I was little. I don't think my. Now it's time for our noodles. Chew. For some reason, mine says Helen on it. And I was Helen. Yeah. Roger talking about someone named Auntie Helen. Auntie Helen, that my ex-wife is that her new business venture. Of course, okay. she's making. Wait a minute. Who, who am I? That's a Raven moment. <laughs> Call him now. This bitch love torturing me. Oh my god, she's draining rice with colander. Once my noodles are soaked, I actually like to cook them in okay, the Okay, Nick, you're getting so to I that point of... Cook noodle in the broth. I actually like to cook noodle in the broth itself. You cook noodle in water separately. What you doing, Nick? Why do you do that? <laughs> why, you, why dilute your fur with a bunch of I'm water? not gonna it's say so it, wrong, It's so hard to achieve such an amazing, flavorful broth. By cooking the noodles in the broth, you'll soak up some of that flavor. It makes for a more delicious and powerful pho experience. No, no, no. Okay, no, if Nick no. was my landlord, I would have been standing by your milk. Yeah. Shit. So when you cook noodle in broth, the noodle starch gonna come out and I love to talk about stuff broth, once or twice. After that, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah. The first time? Yeah. You should know hmm. this. He may be a cousin to my, to my landlord at this fresh point. Fresh batch of water boil your noodle in there. We'll make a few nice slices I see of our it as a, as an enjoyment, like, you know, from a good like place, just, it can be overwhelming when you're an introvert, like, you know. Assemble. On one side, yeah. we'll go with our beautiful rice noodles, and on the other side, some lightly blanched beef. Nice. 
Look good. The with some beautiful thinly sliced beef. Also, correct. The thin it's sexually is annoying. Raw, yes, correct? but because we use the broth to in this other aspect, I'm exactly. And the few slices of this juicy flank steak. Good guys. Now to finish things off, I'll strain my broth into the bowl. I don't mind when someone is sexually annoying. I love that. The broth no. should already be cooked. I'm a little And when you no. strain broth, <laughs> sometimes it loses heat, and you need heat to cook the raw meat. Small mistake. I'll finish it off with a few nice leaves. So that stuff is not going to be so good. well cooked then. I'm good. And then in a bowl, well, the side, I'll add some hoisin sauce as well as a nice scoop of sriracha. This is for dipping our meat in, but don't add it to the broth. You've worked too hard for this. Why Ooh, is someone yo, putting it in the broth? Yeah, it makes Give yourself a pat on the back because you are mm. the perfect. Not bad, I don't not have to bad. eat the food it to know that so you don't put do that. From the noodle, okay. But very good. So big improvement from his dirty ramen broth. The broth used to be dirty. This ain't no allegedly. Here the nephew Nigel DM. This actually really good. Missing spring onion and coriander in the end. And okay. some small mistake here and there. But he the first chef. Looks like he will get his. Makes the whole fur broth looks like he will get back his ah, crown. He got help from Twi. Auntie Twi. She uncle Roger good friend. She lives in London also, so give her a follow on Instagram. So he, she makes some of the best flowers Uncle pasted. Roger tried. Nick doing very good research this time. Uncle Roger actually very impressed. Congratulations. <laughs> oh. Now you are Uncle Nick Fui. <laughs> and now can you stop annoying me? Hiya. Uncle Roger need to change from the Expect a fifth video. Fondo vegetable. Here, expect a fifth video. Some other Ooh. Honey, I would have been tired. After the second time, I will be done. Pronunciation is okay, so Nick. He has been in line street a lot. I have to be right. honest. I'm practicing how yeah, to Lopez pronounce the word properly. But then again, most of the suburban houses so look like that. It go up, it going up, the tone going up. So but those neighborhoods, if they hear him, maybe they have. Down. Why are you cooking? Uh, you move so fast. This not tick tock. Soundproof no, windows to like ours. Okay guys, what do you all think? Let me know in the comments below. Was it so much? This is the fourth time guys. Woo! Me, it's the second time I'm done. I don't I don't have that energy. To, he's resilient or persistent. You can be annoying sexually, but in other aspects like this, honey, that's enough a lot of energy. But then again, it brings the views, so I get it. I'll see you all in the next video. Love you all so much. Let me know. I well. Copy pasting your all out. Cause I'm loving myself so good. Did you guys hear that? I'm scared. And we could chill now.